Yo, 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 what is the deal? What is the deal? It's your boy Cold Blooded. Welcome to another segment of the Future Flavors Show. Live at Wayman 1073, Pittsburgh's number one for hip hop. Got a very special guest in the building. This dude is an all around hustler, and when I say it, I'm not lying. If you know, you know, proof is in the pudding. Uh, this guy has many different, many different hats. Wears many different hats, many different careers, many different fields, and I think uh, it'll, it'll be cool. It'll behoove uh, the younger generation to really uh, learn from this dude and really take away from what the future flavors of the city got when it comes to two shape. Man, so. No doubt, no doubt. What's up, bro? Appreciate you bringing me in here. Man, no problem, no problem. Appreciate you coming through. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's been real cool seeing you get into all these different things that we're, we're about to talk about. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But, you know, just, just to start from the beginning, uh, where, where are you from originally? From Wilkinsburg. Yeah? Yeah. What was it like growing up in Wilkinsburg? Uh, it was cool. I mean, I grew up in Wilkinsburg at a young age. I mean, I started running around like Hosanna House, being around, running around out Turner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then I started, uh, when I started, when I started going to regular school, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, like elementary school, yeah. I was going to Pinnells. Okay. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it was like, I grew up in Wilkesburg and Pinnells, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? What, what, what was like, what, was there a difference between the culture and the people in, in Wilkesburg and Penn Hills? Because they're kind of close to each other, depending yeah. on what side you want. Yeah, like I was telling you before, like, it's just, like, Wilkesburg was like more authentic love, and then like, Penn Hills was more like a facade love, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you had to really like, weave out who, who's really for you over there and who's really not. Mm -hmm. It was harder in Penn Hills than Wilkesburg. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In Wilkesburg, was it like just abrupt? Like it was just right then and there? It was just like, I don't know, it was just more love. It was like more love over there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's it. Like more, you know what I mean? It's just like a more love. Yeah. I don't really know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What were some of the things you was getting into as a kid? Like, was you playing sports? Playing you... sports my whole life. I was still always stay active. I was really just playing basketball really my whole life. Mm -hmm. And then uh, middle school, I started playing football. Played for Wilkinsburg and Penn Hills so for seventh and eighth grade. And then ninth grade, I mean eighth eighth grade, and then ninth grade, I played just for Penn Hills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I wish I still played football. Football was fun. Yeah. What, uh, what position you play? I played cornerback and slot. Okay. That I played cornerback and slot for for Penn Hills in my ninth grade year. Started, then I played uh, eighth grade year. I played slot and running back. I like alternated mm -hmm. from slot and running back, and then cornerback. And then for Wilkesburg, I played just cornerback. Mm -hmm. What's what's the slot position for those who's watching that don't know? Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I was so young. Mm -hmm. For her, I don't really not explain the spot, but it's similar to like a wide receiver and a halfback to me. Like, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so you you can get the ball on a on a handoff, or you can do mm -hmm. a little quick route and get a little mm, mm -hmm. and get low. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Run the screen real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So when you got into high school, what what, what was what was that like? Mm, I don't even know. How to explain high school. High school was fun as hell. I loved high school. Man. I heard I heard I heard stories. You, yeah, high school. <laughs> man, high school was fun, man. I yeah, no, nothing bad. Just like, like, oh, like he might have pulled up in this nice car or something like that. That's yeah, fun. I remember when I pulled up to high school, bro. And the the they took me to the office for having too much money on me, bro. In the morning, but everybody was talking about it, so they like blew man. my splot up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, man, I, like, like, like. I, some of my older cousins and their people was like, it was like in, almost th in their thirties or. Past thirties, like they were like, man, what? Man, I wish I was pulling up in school like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, too, too much. They, they took the office having too much bread on you. Yeah, it was crazy. Cause like I had pool at Penn Hills, so I was doing what I wanted. Like mm -hmm. I had fun at Penn Hills, bro. Like I was doing what I wanted, coming to school, not even getting checked for real, leaving mm -hmm. when I want to leave. And then one day I come and we had a new security guard and dude really checks me. You know what I mean, and he's like, "What's this? What's this?" I'm pulling a little bit of bread out of my pocket. Like, hey, what you mean? Like, you can feel his bread in my pocket, but he keep pull it out. Like, I had like ten thousand dollars on me in cash, bro. In high school. In high school, swear to God, bro, pull it out. What? It's, what? At what? What age is this? I'm like seventeen. All right, seventeen. You got ten bands in high school. 
What's going through your mind at this point? I'm, like, I'm right like, now at this point. I'm like, bro, <laughs> let me. What is you doing? Like now you showing everybody how much bread I got on me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like so, then he see all the money. He's like, what was the? He what called was the, the point police on me. Like, <laughs> bro, that's what I'm gonna get there. So then okay. he called the police on me. The police come grab me and they escort me to the office. You remember Mr. Horn? You look at the mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Horn, they take me to Mr. Horn. I'm like, I told him, like, I ain't talking to nobody but Mr. Horn. Like, so they sent me to Mr. Horn. As soon as we walked in there, luckily Mr. Horn was right there to they put me in the, horn, the office of Mr. Horn with the money. Like they put the money on the desk. Like, Mr. Horn's like, Kenny, why you got all this money? <laughs> man, shout out to Mr. Horn. Ask him about this story, man. He counted the money and everything, bro. So he's like, Kenny, why you got all this money? I'm like, or like, I don't even need to know none of that. That don't even really got nothing to do with you, for real. Like, I'm like, but I just told him, like, I got family issues at the crib. Like, I don't want to bring my money to the crib. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. my money. I don't so, want so, so, I, I just keep it. It might be gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, oh, okay, I understand that. He's like, well, Kenny, you know I like you. Like, we're going to count this money in front of you, me and you, and I'm going to keep the money. for. I'm going to keep the money for the whole school until school's over. You know what I mean? The, the day, you feel me? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to call you on a loudspeaker and come pick your money up. It's going to be the same exact money we just counted right here. Shout out to Mr. Thorne. I swear to God, he gave me all my money back and left. But what was the point of you taking me to the office for that? Was this, was it, is money illegal? I, I, I can see if you had something else. But bro, I if, it's just, if it's just money. Bro, I have nothing else. They searched my locker and all that after that, but yeah. it was just like... Yeah, I mean, but shout out to Mr. Horn, man, because I don't know, he could have did something weird or been on weird, but he was cool. Yeah, just yeah. like, hey, man, he's, 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 he's high school was too many memories, man. Uh, high school was fun. I, I love high school. Yeah, man, that, uh, that's that's crazy. What, what were some of your uh, hobbies back then? Like, what you like to do for fun? In high school? Mm hmm. Be with my girl. Okay. <laughs> be with my girl, the girls went in high school. I'd be her, her, and then hoop. Okay. And get money. Who, who's some of your favorite Hoopers? Back then it was Brandon Jennings. Remember Brandon Jennings? Uh, not, not, not really. I ain't gonna hold you. I, I wasn't that into hoops. I'm like uh, on the cusp of it. Brandon Jennings was my man in high school. I liked Brandon Jennings in high school. Like, and I liked it. There was like certain little uh, high school dudes that mm -hmm. was coming up. Jahi Carson. I don't think he made it to the league though. He mm -hmm. was hard though. I used to like watching his highlights. Uh, there was a couple of dudes I used to watch in high school, but they was all like high school dudes coming up or college dudes coming up. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean John Wall. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean. Yeah. Said so, so you like to just like just kick it with your girl and get money. What? what that's what do you, it. What do you think instilled that in you? Like I just want to like, cause that's really what the ideal grown man wants to do. You just want to get your money. I was doing that since young, home. bro. I was doing that since a young age, bro. Like, yeah, you know I mean, mm -hmm. for real. Like I was the girl I was with. I was with her since the high school to the end of high school. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to just get money and be where, and that's it. Like, mm -hmm. real rap. I used to take her out the country, take her out of state. In high, high school. school? Yeah, everybody know that. Can you, can you like can you leave the country in high school? Do you yeah. get a passport? I don't know. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Get her, get a passport. Get her, get her yeah. right. School year come, get her right. Yeah. Then was the good days, man. No bills, <laughs> you know what I mean? No kids. You know what I mean? You just do what you want. Just do what you want. Did you uh? What was I gonna say? Did you, uh, oh man, it was on the tip of my tongue, it was on the tip of my tongue. Did you, um, did you ever get to, like, just, I mean, it, it, it sounded like it was a great time. Did you ever get to, like, just relax and be, like, the average, like, high school kid at some point? No, no, because, like, what really instilled that, like, back to what you were just saying, though, what really instilled that, uh, that grown man, uh, like, mentality and that me being on top of stuff like me being on top of myself and me being like a hard worker mm -hmm. is from like people always pillow talking about me you feel me mm. so like me uh, me growing up my dad already already had money before i was even thought of mm -hmm. you know what i mean so me growing up people that ain't have as much as me or yeah you know i mean people that look at you always dead is rich yeah, you know what yeah. i mean they they take they take value from stuff that you did by yourself Mm -hmm. So it make it made me go harder to let I can do this by myself. You feel me? Right. So like, that's really was a blessing for real. Like it's a blessing that people did that to me. Like since I was a baby, because it really made me who I am. It made me go harder to show you. Like yeah, I can do that too. That's yeah, you know what I mean. Like so that's for like that's just what it is. Like that's why when I when I 
everything I do, I just go hard and I make it mm -hmm. happen. You feel me? Yeah, that, that's a good take on it, man. A lot of times you hear people say, like, yeah, my dad did this, my mom did this, my uncle did this. But then when it comes to you, it's like, all right, well, what do you got to show for it? And you took it upon yourself to say, man, I'm, I'm going to just do me. I get it on by me. myself. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, that's me. cool, but I mean, that's 20 years ago. Yeah. Or yeah. even present day, but that's, that's him. You know what I'm saying? That's him. I, got, like, got I want to be my me. own person. Feel me? So that's why in life, like me going to jail, I took my own route. But that's living you learn. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And at that moment, I wasn't even, we had family issues going on. So me and my dad wasn't even talking for a couple of years. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, probably ain't talked to my dad for like, since like, like, the, like the, towards the end of 2013 till 2017. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You, you said, um, I wasn't talking for, you and your pops been talking for a, a few years and, you spoke on jail a little bit earlier. What, what was that experience like? Like Jail was the best experience, bro. Really? Yeah. I don't regret jail at all, bro. Wow. It was, uh, jail was like, basically, like, it was just, it was perfect. Like, man, it might sound weird, but per it was perfect. Like, was, some, some people need that. And some people learn and grow and become a better person from that experience. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Jail ain't bad, bro. Like, it ain't always bad. You know what I'm saying? Life is what you make it. So if you make it bad, you could be in there and just make it. Oh, this is bad. Like mm -hmm. it's gonna be bad. But if you go in there and you make it, what it is, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself right when I'm in here. Do this, do that, and learn while you in there. You can come back a better person and smarter. You know so, I mean? so it made you more what? More discipline, more focus. Like or? jail was like, oh, I definitely made me more disciplined. I was already disciplined, mm -hmm. but I was still a kid. You know what I mean? Right. And there right. I became a man, and I was more disciplined. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm in there by myself. I'm 18 years old. I'm in jail with, with dudes from... I'm the youngest in the jail, bro. You mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. And then I'm with dudes. I'm in the feds, so I'm with dudes. And it's not just Pittsburgh. It's from dudes from all over, from Cali, South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, mm -hmm. New York. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a whole bunch of different type of dudes in there. You know what I mean? So, and, and like... I just had to just learn like how to be a man. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm here by myself. Ain't no guns, ain't none of that. You know what I mean? It's just you. So you just gotta stand on your own too. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and just move like a man. You know what I mean? It's just like well, waking up in the morning, yeah. going to breakfast, like jail teach you like- Structure? Uh, structure, exactly, bro. Like, you see how we eat out here? Yeah. We ain't really supposed to be eating like that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You're really supposed to be waking up in the morning and at 5 a.m. Like when they wait in jail, you wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah the, the doors pop. Yeah, breakfast, 5. All uh, right, you go to lunch, 11, 11 30. You get what yeah. I'm saying? In between then, you got Yeah, then dinner's at like 3. And huh. then, yeah, bro, you ain't. That's how you really supposed to be moving, though. Because if right. you're really into health, like I, I do working out and stuff too. Like, so when mm -hmm. you get into health, you ain't really supposed to be eating late, bro. You ain't supposed to be taking having dinner at seven o'clock, bro. Right, you're gonna you know sleep. Mean? It's gonna sit. You ain't supposed. To, yeah, that's too late. That's when you're not active enough to even burn off what you didn't ate. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, bro. So like, jail teach you structure, bro. It just teach you how to be a man. Teach you how to be by yourself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just, it just, it just makes you find your true self. You know what I mean? Hmm. If you can't find your true self in there, you lost. Yeah, well, well it's, it's good to hear you turn to what a lot of people would say negative into a, a positive. Yeah, bro, and like, and like, it was perfect for me to go at 18 because I didn't have no experience of adulthood. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like, all I knew was high school and being a kid. So yeah. when they grabbed me out of school, they indicted me. I was in 12th grade. School wasn't even over yet, completely. Mm. You feel me? It was the last semester, and they indicted me, took me to jail. All I knew was high school. Like I didn't know like adulthood. So like basically, when you go to jail, your time stopped. It's mm -hmm. like you like all you remember is what was going on when you went when you was outside. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like me going in there at a young age and me not having a having experience of adulthood, me not having a girl, like an, a, you know what I mean, having a kid and paying bills and being an adult, it was easier. Like you get know what I'm saying? Cause right. I don't know nothing but being a kid. Yeah. So like now that I'm out here, when I used to see older dudes and like stressing about their kid or like, now I understand cause I got a kid and I got family mm -hmm. and I got bills and you know what I mean? Yeah. So now I understood, but when I was in there like, bro, I was like, bro, why you keep, man, stop calling the crib. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? This yeah. is this is it right now, bro. And it's be stressing like, man. Uh. Like, man, this is what it is. But now I understand yeah. a little bit cause I'll be stressed out leaving my daughter out here, bro. Yeah. I'll be like, damn, like, what? 
I just feel like that was that that made it easier for me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Well, what, what was it like coming out of that situation? Uh, it was cool, bro. Like when I came out, I was happy, bro. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was happy when I came out. I was happy. Just happy being home, and I was happy to get to see people and stuff like that. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. is, is that where you got the uh, Too Shady name from? Oh yeah, I got Too Shady in jail. Shout out to the Duke Cam boys, man. Mo, Gram, Shiggy, Leg, Big Duke. You said Gram, like Grammy Grams? Yeah, Grammy. He was, was just up here. Oh yeah, like, yeah he was just up here. Too, yeah. That's crazy. He's on the same block as me too. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, so he know, yeah. you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You guys dead, but they gave me the name Too Shady because I used to just be shady and working out. I used to be crushing dudes and working out. Like, So they used to just call me Too Shady. Oh, that's Too Shady. Mm-hmm. Would y'all like, like compete? Like who could do the most yeah. reps or whatever? What, what was like the, the one, what was the one you knew, yo, I'm crushing whoever in this? Burpees. Burpees. I crushed dudes in burpees. That's a lot of cardio. And you young. You don't smoke or drink either. No. Nah. Yeah. It's crushing them, bro. Yeah. We used to have we used to have uh, competitions, yeah. bro. When I went to my next fed jail, we had the Federal Olympics, Damn. bro. Like this this was cracking. Federal Olympics, bro. Like a real Olympics, like mm-hmm. like real like throughout the whole day. There's hundred meters, four hundred. Yeah, you know I mean, tracks like in fields and all yeah. that. Yeah, 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 bro. Like just picture like Penel's track field. That's Dude. that's our yard. Hmm. That's where we go work out at. You that's get what, what I'm saying? That's what's up. It, it, you know what I'm saying? To have that. Yeah, bro. Versus just, all right, there's just this giant basketball court, bleachers, weights. That's it. Or is, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's, good. That, that's a good way to stay in shape, stay focused, too. I was in super shape. I used to go three times a day, bro. Yeah. Three times a day. Nobody, bro. Anybody that was in the feds with me, bro, from Ohio to PA, like, I was in Ohio first, and then I went to PA twice. But um, anybody that was in jail with me, bro, down the county or anything, bro, they know that I was in shape. Mm. And I was disciplined, and I moved like a man. You know what I mean? They, so they, so they, is this when um, boxing comes back into play? Yeah, I, I learned boxing in jail. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, really, like, when I really learned how to box, I really learned in jail. Like, is that classes? Other stuff I, no, just from old heads. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Olu. Uh, Lou from Homewood, but he really, he really got me in tune. I mean, but I lost love for boxing without him. Like he was my motivation for real. Mm. Like you never meet one of them guys that just motivate you and make you like make you better at what you do. Mm-hmm. He is one of them. Bro. I love dude. I mean, I mean he, he should be coming home this year. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So His brother's Coach Blue from Homewood. Shout out to him. So, you ever think you would get into like teaching other young kids to box? Yeah, I want to do that for sure. I want to do that when I get older, though. Yeah. Like when I want my daughter older, or I have a son that he a little older, so I can, you know what I mean? If mm-hmm. I'm in a mix, too, or she in a mix, too. It'd be full circle. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be hard. Yeah. So, now, what do you do with the uh, auto sales now? Like, like right, now right now, I, I be selling my merch. Too shady. You see it? Yeah, I mean, you might see it all around the city. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just started this up, like, not that long ago, like, half a year ago for real um and i sell cars with my pops up there and at mitchell's auto sales sell used cars um buyer payer bad credit no credit in-house financing we finance through our own money won't go through no banks uh like i said bad credit no credit you just gotta have a full-time job billing your name and your driver's license and we be working with people that don't got their driver's license too you know what I mean? Because like I said, we don't, we don't got to get you approved by nobody. It's up to me. Like, if I be like, yo, you, I think you official enough for me to finance you a car, I can finance you because I'm going off of me. Right. You feel me? Got the Famer Fest piece on. What, what was it like, like, coming up next to Deasley? Like, like Money Counter Day? Was you around for all that? Like, Money Counter Days and yeah, all that? Yeah, that's around the time we got indicted. Okay. Yeah. So, what, what's it like seeing, seeing it now, like? He's home now. I'm not gonna hold you. We was talking about it the other. It was it was probably like a month or two ago, and somebody said like, "Yeah, he was going for like seven, eight years, something like that, almost 10. I'm like, "For real? It don't seem like that." Cause I remember when everyone was talking about it. Like it was time was when Bill. I'm like, "It don't feel like it's been that long." No, it's cause the feds, the feds run the time run different. Mm-hmm. So like ten years, like ten, like ten months is like a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And like you get like halfway house time, like it's six months halfway house, that means you get up six months early. And then like he got out early because the coronavirus too. Because mm -hmm. you know, they start releasing people from jail because of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Especially like if you had like a year left or something, or you go home. But you just be on like super, super fast release. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like he got lucky and got that yeah. too. So yeah. That's what's up. Was it like, did you like look at them and say, yo, I want to start rapping? Or like, you just did your own thing? Bro, I don't really care about rapping. Like, I just, I just do it for fun. It's just a hobby. Yeah, I just do it for fun. Like, because I always was active as a kid. Like, I told you, like, I always was into stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, now that I'm older, it was just something to do. Yeah. You know I mean, like, I don't do it to be like, like, it's just for fun, for real. Like, if I make it, I make it. If something happened, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like that's what's up. But I just do it just because I want to do it. And that's okay. why I don't be like shooting bids and going all crazy. Like I don't really. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you, like, do you, do you could you see yourself doing that? Like, I traveling could do it. Yeah, shows? somebody reached out. Like, but you gotta really meet the right person. You feel me? It's about who you know. So if I met the right connect, that's like I can mm -hmm. get you here. You know what I mean? I would be more serious for it, and I'll press it more because I know he could put me in a position or put me in a room with somebody that's gonna put me right, get me right. Yeah. I think I think in your network, like if you really want to do that, you can do that. Nah, that's music stuff different. Yeah. You know what I mean, if it happened, it happened though. I ain't gonna say I wouldn't take mm -hmm. it. I'll definitely take it. Yeah, I mean, what was it like when the you got the reception and the feedback for the first few songs you put out? I was surprised, bro. I told like I told you last time. I, mean, I was surprised. I'm like, oh yeah. You know what I mean? And them songs wasn't even, them songs wasn't even nothing for real. Like, it was cool, because it was my first song. They were still cool, like, they stink, but. No, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they not butt. Like, people like, and then that, that's another thing, right? We talking about butt music, bro. We got a lot of good artists in Pittsburgh, bro. Mm -hmm. Local artists that don't get love, or local artists that get love. We got a lot of talent, bro. It's just that Pittsburgh people that don't do music, don't even give it a chance. You get what I'm saying? Like, like people that aren't in the local industry, they just don't know. They don't. They don't even give it a chance. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, this is my man, cold blooded. Put my man, cold blooded on. Now, nah, man, this joint hard. Yeah. And they know you from Pittsburgh, or they know you. They're just like, I don't want to hear that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or mm. that's butt instantly. But they'll turn on the industry dude that be saying something way garbager, way trash. Like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you mm -hmm. think that's hard and you just said my man's weak? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I just feel like, I, I, now that I started making my music, I hate that. Like, I hate when people like be like, sus and sus is butt. Like, no, he's not, bro. He's hard. You just, but you listening to, to uh, spot him, got him. Like, he's not hard. He's not saying nothing. You know? I get what you're saying. <laughs> Bro, like this is crazy, bro. I hate, I hate that, bro. Like for saying. real, bro. I hate it. Then people got like all their young taste. Like you might listen to an artist, like let's say, like, let's say you for example. Yeah. Like somebody might listen to you, but on the back end, they really listen to like, let's say, like Jada Kids, Davies, Vado, and stuff like that. Then they come across you, and they might think some type. Well, he's not really saying nothing for real. Da, 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 da. But then it's like everyone else around you will be like, yo, you're not even like getting hit to the story or like what yeah, he's saying yeah. like yeah. everything like that like you might you just don't get it yeah you just don't get it bro yeah. and it just like people just be like if it's pittsburgh like pittsburgh is just so weird like they'll just be like it's pittsburgh like if it's pittsburgh music a lot of people will just be like i don't want to hear it because mm -hmm. it's pittsburgh you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. they're from pittsburgh yeah <laughs> like yeah and bro we do got some talent bro so shout out to all the dudes that still out here making music going hard no matter what the haters saying or people you love or you thought loved you back ain't banging your music or or supporting you in whatever you do bro just keep pushing because that's going to be like that the rest of your life what's, what's some advice you would give to 15 year old you 15 year old me man, I don't just stay focused I mean I don't know I, would, I, I, I don't really got no complaints about when I was younger like like I said that stuff made me to who I am like you know what I mean, mm -hmm. the environments I was in and, and the people I met, I don't regret none of it, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, for real. It's just life, just make you who you is. Mm -hmm. Your story make you who you is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just gotta embrace it and just fix what needs fixed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what's up. That's all it is, for real. What's fatherhood like for you? How, I love how, it. How, how was you feeling when you found out you was gonna be a dad? I ain't feel nothing. 
It was regular. Nothing at all? No. You wasn't happy or mad or scared? Or? I just ain't feel nothing. I just felt regular. I was like, all right. My daughter ain't hit me until like, uh, I want to say like six months or so. Hmm. Yeah, In, like, into her, like just being a little Into her a life, life, like yeah. her being outside, like being a person. Yeah. yeah. It ain't really hit me until later on. But what was that moment? Like, was you like holding her? Was you like feeding her? You just looked and was like, dang, like I'm really a dad or like. Just like her waking up in the middle of the night and stuff like that, like just little stuff that happens as a father that mm -hmm. made me realize like I'm really a dad, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it was, I think it was when I, she got some mail sent to my house and they said her name on it, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It, was like, it was like Nora Mitchell, like, dang, like I got a real human being in my crib, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, uh, that, I think it was that for real. Yeah. I love my daughter. That's my girl, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. A lot of, you know, like, I, I got a daughter, too. A lot of us young, like, young black fathers, you know, we don't get the positive look, you know, or we don't see it ourselves. You know, our peers might not see it. Bro, it's, 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 just, it's, just our, it's just us as a people, bro. For real. Mm -hmm. It's just, we all, bro, we just, it's just us as a people, bro. We make it worse, bro. How? We don't uplift each other enough. You know what I mean? But we got a lot of good fathers, too. Just like the same way I'm saying, there's a lot of dudes I know that's good fathers, bro. We just don't get the recognition, like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But we never did since back in the day. Mm -hmm. Like, there's this comedy show, Earthquake, when he made a little comedy joint about, the, about, it, about that joint. And uh, Chris Rock. Oh, uh, how, how? Men don't men only get loved unconditionally if they provide something? Yeah, and then Chris Rock got this comedy show where, like, basically, like, I gotta pull it up and show you before I leave. This is funny though. This is, this is basically like the mom get all the love, you know, the kids get all the love, but the, 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 even the dog. The, the dad, yeah, the dad just get the big chicken at the table. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta show you it. He said it a funny way. It was hilarious, but it was real. Yeah. Like, that's all we get. Like after all the hard work we put in paying the bills, now I mean putting a roof over their head, being the per protector, the provider, showing them love, unconditional love. Get the big chicken, bro. That's mm -hmm. all you get. You know what I mean? As soon as you mess up, you're this terrible person if you do a mistake. Just, 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 just man, all the fathers, man, stay strong. You got, <laughs> you got a terrible B, BM or just a terrible support system, bro. Just stay strong, bro. Mm -hmm. you, you just get engaged recently? Yeah, yeah. What was that pro? What was going through your head during that process? When I got engaged, I, when I got engaged, I just want to show my girl, bro, that I want to be with her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause like she, like girls be lacking, like they be lacking secureness and stuff like that. Like, so I did that to show my girl, like, you know, you got my daughter, and I want you to be the woman I want to be. Like, you know what I mean? I want yeah. you to be the woman that I want you to be. You know what I mean? I still love you for you is, but I want you to grow into the woman I want you to be. And I'm gonna grow into the man I, I, you want me to be. Yeah, you know I mean. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to show her that I'm serious when I be telling her that. Yeah, you know I mean. That's mm -hmm. what that was for. And then show her that. And she, show her that I'm serious. And then later on, if we grow, we can get married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean. I ain't rushing marriage though. Right. I'm still growing right now. Yeah, you know I mean. But locked in though. That's 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 my dog. That's my girl. Yeah. You know I mean, that's my fiance. What but would you? What would you say, uh, now we know everybody's situation is different, right? But let's say for those who's watching, let's say they're they're thinking about it, like, yeah, I'm about to, like, like I'm thinking about proposing and really, like, locking it in. Like, what's something I should look for? Uh, they parents. Because you do marry the family. They parents. And you be like, I mean, they going to be like, I don't even love, like, my one man, my one old lady, he told me, he was like, you gotta watch the family tree. Like, you gotta look at her mom, how her mom, like, look at her dad, how her, how her dad, at. I mean, before you nothing no more, anything. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely look at that. Uh, and don't rush it. People be rushing it, and a lot of people doing that joint for just an image, bro. A lot of people do a lot, so much stuff nowadays for Instagram and, mm -hmm. and Facebook and stuff for an image, bro. I ain't doing that. That's why I just told you. I'm, 
taking my time. Marriage is serious. Mm -hmm. You gotta go to court to leave her. On paper. Yeah. Not not just like the lovey dovey and emotional stuff, but it's also on paper. It's a, it's a it's a contract. Yeah, it's a contract. It's like a business. I, mean, I don't care what nobody say, bro. That's like a business move for real. Mm -hmm. It don't it ain't gotta be like oh I'm married, I'm gonna no, but it's no. still a business move. It affects your taxes. Yeah, it affects your taxes. It's gonna take money from you if you leave. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You gotta pay a lawyer to you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unless you just got a clean breakup and both of y'all like I'm done, you're done, sign these papers and we out. And which it rarely happens like that. You get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like that's why I would tell anybody about to get married, take your time, bro. Mm -hmm. Marriage is serious. I mean, I watched my mom and dad go through divorce. They went through divorce for like two and a half, three years or something like that. You feel me? Like I ain't no. When I do it I wanna I mean they was together for thirty years. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Uh, well, what's your, uh, well, we kind of spoke on it earlier, but what's your thoughts on the local music scene? Both both good and bad, if there is any. I mean, local music, like I said, we got good artists, bro. There's, we, got, we got terrible artists, too. Yeah. I mean, we got good artists, too. You know what I mean? But I feel like we do got a lot of talent. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, people just don't get a recognition. It's too much hating, too much, too much hating, just mm -hmm. too much, like, People ain't showing enough love, like, and it is just, it's just, that's just life period, bro. Like, it ain't even just Pittsburgh. That's everywhere, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But. What do you think the solution could be? It doesn't have to be like 100%, nothing. but. Nothing. Nothing? It's gonna be that. It just is what yeah, it is? Yeah, it. That's just life, bro. It is what it is. Like, it's just gonna be that. Like, like, like I got people that don't support, you know what I mean? Stuff I do that, you think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody got it. Yeah. You was telling me, like, how you would support all your man, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to say that on air. I don't know if you. No, 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 no. I'll, 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 I'll say it. Like there, there's some who <laughs> they'll go to if a, if an event's free, they're there. At least this is the very beginning. They're there if it's free. If it's five dollars, ten dollars, they're not there. If it's with a celebrity, yeah, bro, I might pull up. If it's just any old regular thing like the club or something, they're not there. Yeah. I'll I'll say out of most of them that's closed, he's Mars behind the camera. He's mm -hmm. the only one that's been there. Yeah. Whether it be like y'all pay for a ride or whatever, they like don't matter. Even with this, like you know I'm saying, like you really just they pressing the button. Me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what's up. That's how I get. That's your man's that's supposed to be. I mean, that's like, like you said like. earlier. That's that. That's yeah. what's supposed to be like. Yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? But, but yeah. like, 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 like for example, how I was telling you about Penn Hills and Wilkinsburg. Yeah. Shit. It's high as the Penn Hills is more. He's up. from he's from Wilkinsburg. Ends up going to Penn Hills. <laughs> it's more facade. You get what I'm saying? It's more of a facade in mm -hmm. Penn Hills, bro. And then it was like more authentic in Wilkesburg. Like, you'll see more Wilkesburg people in my clothing than yes. you'll see Penn Hills yes. people. Yes. You get know what I'm saying? Yes. And then Penn Hills people, bro, the Penn Hills people that went to school with me that supposed to be my mans, bro, majority of them, 90% of them, ain't even cop a two shade. Don't even got a two shady sweatsuit. And I done came out with five different styles, more than that, literally, probably like eight, ten different styles different colors. So you can't say, I ain't like every style that you had. It's a sweatsuit. You get what I'm saying? So if you was going to spend this hundred bucks on, you can't spend a hundred bucks for a top and bottom on mine, but you about to go to Nike or go to another local person. That's weird. It don't matter how you want to say it. If you think I'm in my feelings or not. No, it's just real. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I don't care if you don't, if you come to me or not. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I don't care if you do, you do. But it just shows that you're not really my man's. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Just like, if uh oh, all right for the clothes. Yeah. You supposed to be my man. We grew up together. We didn't played in the park together. Played sports together. We went to school. Skipped class together. Skipped school together. Whatever. We was in school. Like you supposed to be my man. You'll see me and say, "What's up, bro?" Da da da. All joke, right? But you never cop none of my merch, bro. Or reposted it on. Or reposted it. Or reposted it. You can't say, ah, uh, you could be. I don't really. I don't really like the, the throw over hoodies. I like the zip ups. All right, I got zip ups coming out next, bro. If you like some, you got some free cash, holla at me. Now, then, then you still don't come, but I see you in another somebody else that makes merch in the city's merch. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't even know them. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? You know my raise. You we done went out to eat with my raise, or you know what I mean? Just yeah. stuff like that. Like yes. you ain't you ain't gonna spend no paper with me. Can't spend five dollars to go to a show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and everything comes with it. 
like, I would be like, yo, you want to go to the show? It's only five dollars, but get the drink, get the eat for free. You don't got to worry about the ride. You don't got to worry about nothing else. You just got to show up, five cash. You get to reap all the benefits that I get. That's that's that's. They and they should, and they should want to come just for you. Right. Just like just like I might cover the five dollars. And or and 20. and it's just showing you love, bro. What is that? You about to go spin out at the corner store for some snacks for for a drink and a pop? You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Am I get mans or not? Is it love or not? So quit saying what's up to me. Act like it's love. It's not love. Just like with cars, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I sell local. I sell. I sell used cars. Now, if you gonna go buy a brand new car, no duh, don't come to me. I'll tell you. That's the type of man right. I am, bro. I'll tell you, bro. If you want a new car, go to the new car dealership. You know what I mean, but if you want to get a used car, you booking for a little runner for three to four bands, five bands, and you ain't hit me up. But you called me to go party or something. Mm -hmm. But you didn't hit me up. But you went to cuz down the street that you don't know from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Now, you don't even got a bad from me. It's just from the point of you pulling up and checking me out as a man and seeing what I got to offer. Now, if I don't got something you looking for, then that's cool. At least you can't had. At least you came out and checked out what I had. But if you don't come out and check out what I had at all and go buy rap for another from another person that you don't know. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I got the same car that he got. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, and then you'll call me next week and like, what's up, bro? You trying to go to the club? Mm -hmm. Trying to go, trying to go to the uh, to the to the to the bar? Mm -hmm. That's fake, bro. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? Like when people got stopped, like a lot of a lot of us, we look over it and be like, man, nah, nah. but no, nah, it's really right in front of your face, bro. Yeah. You feel me? right in front of your face bro like like bro if i send you my music is you going to really listen to my music yes you get what i'm saying <laughs> yeah you supposed to be my man like but like i don't know bro it just be too much fake stuff that's why i was always by myself my whole life i was always really by myself like i had associates but i knew who was real and who wasn't because i always went through the little jealousy stuff since i was a baby mm -hmm. so i always knew how to weave it out like i know he lying in. i know he don't really like me for real. I know he really jealous of me for real or whatever you want to say. You know what I mean? I just be knowing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, I mean, it's, and people got to watch you. They be cool with it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Shout out to D's, man. Shout out to Tom out to the Famer Feds, man. The movement. Shout out to me, Too Shady. Yeah. You know what I mean? BLD. Shout out to everybody, bro. Like, everybody out there doing their thing. Everybody in Wilkesburg that's doing their thing with music. You know what I mean? Everybody, uh, these, uh, uh, Hemi, Hardo, uh, Shot Boys. I mean, I got love for everybody, bro. I just do my own thing. Well, before we get up out of here, man, where can the people follow you and tune in? Where can they follow get a car, where they get a car, all of that? Oh, yeah, follow me at 068 Shady. That's on Instagram and on Facebook. It's Kenny Mitchell, but I'm probably about to delete Facebook. Facebook's wild. But, yeah, that's about it. Want want a lot? Want to pull up on a lot? You need a car for income tax time. You know what I mean, Kendall Mitchell's Auto Sales, seven hundred one Duquesne Boulevard, or Norfolk Sales, five thirty East Pittsburgh and Keysport Boulevard. Like I said, we do bad repair here, bad credit, no credit, in house financing. We finance through our own money. Yes, I finance through my own money. I don't go through no banks. Um, bring the billing in name, your driver's license, or ID. I can I can get you right. Um, that's really about it, bro. I mean, we're gonna get the merch. Oh yeah, y'all get the merch. Just DM me. I got a website. I really need to start using that joint. I got a website. I got clothes on her, but I gotta, I gotta really start using it. I don't, I ain't really get into it yet, but I yeah. got it up. And get, get, get your label slip printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Printer. I got that. My girl got me that. I got that too. So I really gotta get get my uh website up and running. But you can just DM me on Instagram, and uh, yeah, we can go from there. Hmm. Oh. Appreciate you pulling up, coming through. Again, had to retake this interview. Yeah, ain't no but, doubt. He had me come back up this joint. Yeah, man. You know Watch I mean? the footage, man. It's, 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 <laughs> it's hard being your own production crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This dude uh, lost it. Yeah. Tripping. Uh, you know. Appreciate you coming through, man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Too Shady. Too Shady. God damn. LT made another one.
Acting like they want the smoke, but they just fire drills. Call of Duty simulations, you can die for real. There's too many situations, I done kept it real. So it's really f them niggas, that's just how I feel. Got some wounds up in it, then they ain't never heal. I don't even need no drugs, I won't pop a pill. Middle finger to the judge, he can die for real. And I know my mental scar, but that shit gave me skills. I let my soul bleed, balling on them then the nose bleed. Niggas out here rapping, but them niggas dropping no heat. How the fuck you out here trapping? Totin' no heat. If they kill my friend, I'll spin his bin and get in no sleep. Talking still on clearance, cause I know that shit is so cheap. They gon' have to show me, ballin' like Ginobili. Money coming fast, gotta stick it slowly. Damn, this shit is crazy, swear to God, they should've told me. Tryna to change my ways in the kitchen, I'm the old me. Money coming and we got them blocks like a goalie. Being broke, so send we in the bank like it's holy. Bank teller sitting there admiring my rollie. All my diamonds water, so my jeweler gave me floaties. Damn, I'm so frigid ass, my b with my Kobe. Feeling like some good weed, cause n wanna smoke me. Fresh up out the feds, n a shout out to my coach. Acting like they want the smoke, but they just fire drills. Call of duty simulations, you can die for real. There's too many situations, I done kept it real. So it's really f them niggas, that's just how I feel. Got some wounds up in it, then they ain't never heal. I don't even need no drugs, I won't pop a pill. Middle finger to the judge, he can die for real. And I know my mental scar, but that shit gave me skills. I know fraudulence and fairy is the realest real remain. I had down the ride when the interior was stained. I ain't have nothing to lose, and I had everything to gain. Put a bounty on his head, and I ain't talking about no gain. I was swerving in the coup while I was staying in my lane. I was trying to ice a finger, thinking pinky in my brain. Got a freaky little mm, she like pinky with the brain. Know a couple rather call him pinky in the brain. When they see you getting love, they approach you with that hate and sh I be on it early, always see me with the latest Got the opportunity, they foolish, so they wasting it Waiting on some lazy sh Quick to play a victim, knowing life is what you make of it Exactly what I pictured, I'ma go and get the frame and sh Faking on the net is only going get you baked and sh Might get you indicted Say they on my heels and I ain't worried in the slightest Acting like they want the smoke, but they just fire drills Call of duty simulations, you can die for real There's too many situations, I done kept it real So it's really f*** them niggas, that's just how I feel Got some wounds up in it, then they ain't never heal I don't even need no drugs, I won't pop a pill Middle finger to the judge, he can die for real And I know my mental scar, but that shit gave me skills I let my soul bleed